Abigail with Brain Vision Institute. I am the surgical coordinator. I am here with Brenna, who um, had vision correction with us at the Ryan Vision Institute. Talk about more of your visual freedom. Yeah, I'm excited to have y'all here. here. I'm a nurse here at MUSC. Oh my Pete's nurse by background, so I was at the bedside taking care of pediatric patients for most of my career, probably about 12 years. Um, three years ago, moved over to the Center for Telehealth. Um, and then the, um, one of the lead trainers to help provide education and training to any kind of clinical um, support staff or providers, nurses, anyone that might utilize our telemedicine um, equipment and services. So it's a busy time due to COVID. It's a really busy time in the Center for Telehealth. Um, I, like I said, I've been a nurse for 15 years. I live here in Charleston, part of the community, and I have two amazing children and a great husband and two dogs that Aww. greet me at home every day. <laughs> you know, how the vision correction afterwards has rolled into your lifestyle here at work and how it's helped you kind of adjust in some of the telehealth ways and yeah. just general. It lifestyle. has been amazing. Just like waking up in the morning and opening my eyes and being able to hit the ground running has been huge. Um, like I said, I do have two kids, and so getting them up and getting them ready for school, it was such a pain to get up, find my glasses, put my contacts in, did I get them in right, do I need a new pair, like it, it was just a whole ordeal. Mm -hmm. So being able to wake up in the morning, being able to see and hit the ground running has been just a huge, huge improvement. And then of course, because we have to wear masks now, it's wonderful that I don't have to worry about my eyes drying out, glasses fogging up, things like that. Um, it's, it's been a huge win in, in, in my book. And before your procedure, how did your life look day to day? I know you just touched on a couple things, yeah. on, mm -hmm. you know, getting up and... Yeah, it, um, it was literally before bed, remembering to take my contacts out. And I've worn contacts since, and, and glasses since sixth grade, so this has been a long time. And so it was just part of the routine to make sure to take my contacts out, get my glasses, put them on the bedside table, make sure I had them, you know, in case the, the kids get up at night or in case something happens, have them readily available. Um, and, you know, and then get up in the morning before I could do anything, it was find my glasses or put my contacts in. And so that's just such, I mean, over, over time it just gets old. Yeah. It just really does. And I think, I think the main thing that like finally was my aha moment was when, um, we went on vacation and I didn't have any contact solution and my husband had to Uber to like the closest grocery store to find it. And I was like, this is just crazy. Like there's just got to be a better way for this. Right. Um, so it was definitely time and has, has paid off definitely. Yeah, awesome. I encourage someone like you or someone similar to in the same stage of your life uh -huh. to go forward with vision correction and to make that move. Um, I definitely would tell them, and I have told people, it is easier than like getting a cavity filled. It was not painful. I think people think it's going to be so painful and just a horrible situation. It was just so easy. Um, Y'all made it wonderful and made me feel so comfortable and just reassuring me that everything was going to be okay. Um, 100% would recommend it to anyone. Yeah, it's been it's been so nice not to be glued to glasses and, and contacts anymore. Um, we, my husband and I, are very active and we're active with our children. And then we also, uh, my husband and I love to go see uh, live music, outdoor shows, things like that. Um, and because I was in contacts all the time, and you know, and we're outside, and I'd have to wear glass or sunglasses. You know, it was just like. I couldn't wear my glasses to give my eyes a break because I'd need sunglasses and then my eyes would get dried out because I was stuck in contacts all the time. Or there was always the worry if I was out doing something with my children, maybe a contact would come out or I'd lose it and then not be able to drive home. Um, there was just so much worry, like did I pack extra or do I have what I need to go with me? And now I just like literally stand up, wake up, hit the ground running, walk out the door and don't have to worry about any of that. Just grab a pair of sunglasses and, and call it a day. So it's been, it's been really nice not to have that, that worry over my head all the time. Mm -hmm.